This is so light, I didn't even think it was in the delivery box. Hi, Kenji here, and today we are going to be unboxing the Canon RF 50mm f1.8, or you might know it as the Nifty 50. Okay, so this was actually something that I've wanted for a while. I've only had one lens on my Canon R, sorry, on my Canon R6, and I've kind of wanted to have another lens on it, especially a prime with a little bit wider of an aperture to see what sort of performance I would get out of it. Now, I would never give up my 70 to 200 f2.8 lens, and I'm gonna do a review on that soon. But I would never give that up for portraiture for the type of things that I do. But since it was my first lens and I didn't really have the budget at the time, I didn't really get any other lenses for it. This over here comes in at $200. And for $200, you really can't say no to this. Um, whereas my Canon 70 to 200 f2.8 lens, that, uh, that comes in at $2,700. So that is a huge difference. It's less than 10% of the cost of my larger lens. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that make this lens actually really, really good. For one thing, this lens has an f1.8 aperture. And that makes it so that it lets in a lot more light than my f2.8 lens. It lets in exactly one and a third uh, stops more of, of light, which is actually really, really good because it helps blow out that background a little bit more. And if I'm in a really dark space, then it helps allow me to not have to crank my ISO up quite so much. Another thing that I like about this lens is the fact that it is super, super light. This thing comes in at 0.35 pounds or 160 grams. So this is an ultra light lens that you can basically put onto your camera and you don't really have to worry about it really kind of like weighing you down if you are if you just wanna just like have it on your hip and you're just like walking around town and stuff like that. Whereas the F2.8 70 to 200 lens, while it's lighter than my Nikon uh, 70 to 200 F2.8, it, it still is a pretty heavy lens if I'm gonna be walking around for a long period of time. And there have been times when I have been walking around and I don't really feel like having that on my shoulder the entire walk. Whereas this lens, I don't think I would, I would really mind actually having this on my camera and basically on my shoulder the entire walk. And I could probably walk for hours that way. Um, now, let's just go ahead and talk about that this is a pretty minimalistic box and it's probably good that you're not gonna be wasting like a ton of packages on this stuff like that. Um, it's very simple. It does have a little picture of the uh, RF lens over here. And, and that's pretty much about it. Not really a whole lot else going on with it. Um, I did just tape over the serial numbers and stuff like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this guy up and let's see what's inside there because I have no idea because I haven't really researched this that much. All right. Okay, so first things first, the uh, the warranty card, which I will put off to the side. And this is the instruction manual over here. So <clears throat> the instructions are, let's see actually how lengthy they are. I mean, this is a relatively simplistic lens, but Still has a pretty decent instruction manual for it. Over here, it looks like it comes in multiple different languages too. So, there we go. Just gonna toss that off to the side for now. Definitely don't throw these things out. Put it inside the box. Always keep the box because if you wanna sell off the lens, people always want to have the original box and the, the instruction manual and all the material that goes into the box when they wanna buy it from you. I don't know exactly why, but your lens is always worth a little bit more or it's a little bit easier to sell if you have the box. Because if there's two lenses for sale and one has a box and one doesn't have the box and they're and they're the same price, 
I guarantee you someone is going to buy the one with the box first. All right, so here is the packaging. Has a nice little plastic thing over here to hold uh, to keep the lens nice and safe when it's inside the box, so that so the lens is nicely nestled into the center and it has a matching piece on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, take this over here, put it back in the box. And I'm gonna put the box off to the side. All right, so even with that, the little plastic clamshell, it also comes wrapped in bubble wrap. So it's kind of nice that they did a little extra protection on that. And put this also back in the box so I can use it later in case I need to either return it or if I want to sell it. Here's the lens. And it comes inside a nice plastic wrapper over here. It's gonna unwrap it now. I've been looking forward to this thing for such a long time. I pre-ordered this thing in, I wanna say it was like mid-November that, um, that I pre-ordered it for $200. And, um, and I've been waiting for it ever since. So, this is it. Here it is. Wow. Man, that thing is really, really nice. That's really interesting, the uh, lens cap on it. Like, look how small that lens cap is. Man, that lens cap is tiny. God, look at that. Look how tiny that is. That is so small. Actually, I still have a, uh, a measuring tape up here. Let's see how, like, how big this lens cap is. It's so tiny. This lens cap comes in at one and three quarters inches. That's it, one and three quarters inches. Don't ask me what that is in millimeters because I don't know. But look how tiny that is. It's so tiny. Wow. Okay. I better not lose this. I mean, this is so small that I can easily lose this. But you know what? Whenever I take the lens cap off of my uh, lenses, the first place it goes is directly back into my camera bag. And whenever I am done, uh, which uh, with uh, taking something out of my camera bag, I immediately zip it up. So there's gonna be very little chance that I'm gonna lose this lens, but man, it's so small, it's like so cute. Huh, all right. So here is the, the actual lens over here. Let me try to angle that up over here. Man, that thing's so nice. All right, now, Something I'm gonna tell you, this thing is super, super light. I, I mean, I love how, how light this lens is. Um, of course it has like this giant back piece over here and this in, in this back lens cap, the uh, rear lens cap over here, oops, this way, uh, is like the exact same size or diameter of the actual lens over here. Um, this 50 millimeter lens, it does have a control ring over here at the top so I can spin it over here to control whatever you want to control. Um, I actually have it switching in between IAF and in and, and, um, other uh, focusing points, but you can also set it up so that it controls your aperture or other things like that. Um, now, something that I do know about this lens is that there is a switch on it right over. Okay. I'm going to try to keep it right here. All right. So that switch over there, it's not for, for uh, image stabilization because this doesn't have image stabilization built in. This actually allows you to switch what this front control ring does. It can either be the, the control ring that you use in order to change whatever functionality like ISO or something on your camera or you can basically switch it so that it actually adjusts the focus. Now, I tend to always use autofocus, and if you're gonna be shooting down at 1.8 um, for your aperture, then you probably wanna use that IAF if you're gonna be doing like a lot of uh, portraiture of like people and things like that, because you're gonna have a really shallow depth of field with F1.8. So this will make it so that you nail that focus on the person's eye every single time. So, man. Look at that. Ooh. I'm gonna try to right there. Man, that is so cool. And the thing just is like really, really, I don't know, like perfected and like in like refined with like the nice dark gray metal that they have over over here on the edge, over here. So um, this thing has a 
at, actually it says right here, 40, 43 millimeter is the size of the filter element. So I guess that's actually how big this lens cap is. Is it 43 millimeter? That is so small. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually pull up my camera and let's go ahead and throw it on there. Cause it's kind of interesting. <clears throat> Ever since I got this, this, this big lens over here, I have literally never taken off this camera because I've only had one lens. This is gonna be the first time that this sensor has been exposed to the elements since I originally put this lens on the camera. So let's go ahead and take it off. Actually, you know what I like to always do? I like to always loosen the lens cap first and have it so I can just pick it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully rotate this off. Then I can swap it out. And this way I don't have to worry about Oop, I probably should have had this thing lined up better beforehand, but that's okay. All right. All right, clicked into place. So, make sure to keep dust out of this lens. Put this over here. And there's like such a huge difference in like the weight of this. And actually the weight of just this lens over here and the weight of the camera with the battery grip with the lens, I would actually say that this weighs more. This weighs, weighs more than the battery grip, the camera, and the lens. So, man, this is so cool. Well, it's interesting that the front actually extends out like that. That is very interesting. So I guess that's how it focuses. Huh, I didn't really expect it to do that. I thought it would be all internal, but maybe they're just trying to keep the size of this a little bit smaller. But I do want to take a shot though. Man, interesting. I'm gonna have to definitely take a shot and see what it looks like because it is very, very interesting to me. Go all the way down to F2.8. Let's go ahead and drop the shutter speed down to one over 100. The ISO is already at 100. I'm gonna crank it up to 200. And you can basically see my setup with my phone and me taking the photo. Man, that is so, so cool. Check it out right there. Boom. All right. So that is this lens. Um, and I'm actually super excited to really give this a shot. Uh, you know, take it like on a walk, take like a bunch of photos with it. I'm gonna see like how fast the, the focusing is on it and you know, um, and all the other attributes on it, like like how sharp it is. I assume it's gonna be razor sharp, but um, you never quite know. So I'm gonna let you know what all my thoughts are in a full review soon. If you have any questions or anything that you want to have me actually try out with the lens, I would definitely love to help you out. So if you have any questions, go ahead and throw me a question down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out this channel a lot. Um, and hey, until the next unboxing or my next review, take care.